Are y'all ready for some comedy for real? You sure? <laughs> All right. Well, I want y'all to give it up one time for my man, Rodney Perry, but our rock comedy in the hall. This is how we do it. One more time. Give it up. Rodney Perry. Yo, one more time for the DJ. That's DJ Hershey. Y'all give him a big hand. Thank you for coming out, man. You got that ice box. Thank you for coming out tonight. That's your lady. It's your wife, how many years? Three years. Let's get him a hand. They still doing it. That's what it's all about. You might get something tonight. Good luck. When you married, you ain't never sure, though. You ain't never sure how it's going to work out. You know. Big dog, thank you for coming out tonight, man. Appreciate it. Who you with? What you got going on this little little table right here, like, yeah, little ma'am, uh, hold on, she just threw the Minaj word out real easy, didn't she, okay, yeah, I like what's going on, I like a little, 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 little prayer meeting table right there, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want, y'all look like y'all know Jesus at this table, man. they can get a prayer through, you ever see the people that get a prayer through, they look like they know the, know the Lord, yeah, everybody with this one though, she look like she, you don't really know the Lord that good, he's <laughs> have a good time. What's up, dog? Thank you for coming out. Okay. Got that Shot Times finest in the building. So, you know, Chicago in the building. Detroit. I need a wall. Slide. Damn. Damn. Which version? Keep it short. Oh yeah, which version? Don't do all of the line dances. I'm gonna throw, I don't know if Hershey can do it. Can, can, can DJ Hershey do it? Let me see, because I, I know I don't know him. I don't know the dances. The worst thing you can do, we got some of my Chicago homeboys in the house. Anybody ever been to like a stepper's party? Let me tell you though, the worst you can do is be a man. Give it up for my girl, y'all, Miss Eunice. Tell it, y'all, Miss Eunice. Eunice, Eunice, Eunice. Take my gum out. I cannot chew gum and tell jokes. Okay. But the two things I can do at one time. Like wave my head, wave my hand. <laughs> that is my shit. I'm sorry. Running up stages all over Atlanta, all over the country. Give a big hand, like, unless y'all job. I don't know if y'all know y'all job. Y'all job is a clap. Yeah. So when I say their name, when I, when I start introducing, y'all be like, okay, yeah. That's when y'all get into it. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all ready for y'all next time? Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage. You see him on TV One, who's got a joke. He's got all the comedy shows in between. My man, Mr. Johan, say, come on. Y'all get up to Ronnie Perry moment. Seen thus far. Put up your mind up here. Oh, you gotta say my name over there. What up, right, cool? Cool ass me. Oh, cool ass me. You ever ask the wrong person how they doing? They feel like they're too cool to give you a simple answer. They gotta say some slick shit or something that rhyme. Oh, I'm the only one who ran into this room. <laughs> You know, he just do a little too much. But hey, brother, is it been alright? Oh, you know. Maintaining them complaining. <laughs> I'm trying to make it for the table. What, make what? Nigga, who the hell is that? <laughs> well, they ask the old dude how they doing. Old dude gonna say some more crazy shit. I asked this one old dude. I said, hey, Mr. Charles, is it been alright? Oh, you know. Same balls, different draws. <laughs> Sometimes the same draws. Hey. <laughs> Such a cat in the hat. 
talking to ass up. Simple, I'm blessed, will it been fine? Y'all laughing, I use my ATM card today. My shit bent down, I try to put it in the slot. And my car was talking to me, nigga, don't put me in there. And I ended my pen, nigga, my shit just said, go home. <laughs> Swear I need this chain. Good to be back in Atlanta. I've been, uh, I've been up upstate New York for the last two weeks. Doing cold, oh my lord. That's exactly what I was thinking about, nigga. They got some cold that's unnecessary. <laughs> nigga, heat be looking for heat up that way. Like, I, 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 I was walking like this all that, the whole time. I was there. And, you know, they got snow up there that be way up here, but they don't shut them, nigga. They, the city still got to go. That type of shit come down here, we'll shut the whole city down. <laughs> nigga, somebody go outside with they ice tray and just do this, nigga, we'll shut this bitch down. <laughs> you like, nigga, no school. <laughs> you know, like, okay, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta be there at 12 today. <laughs> <laughs> we will shut this bitch down. Yeah. I hate the winter. I love the winter, but I hate it too, because I got that dry ass skin. <laughs> you know, dry skin shows in the winter. You have right now. You oh, I, my shit feel the fuck off. <laughs> I got you little lotion, little Vaseline, little baby oil, little Lubaderm. When I go home tonight, I ain't going to be able to take my pants all the way off. I'm just going to pull them down to my ankles and sit on the end of the bed. <laughs> For like two or three minutes, I'm that good ass guy there scratching me. Oh, no, I'm trying to act booze up in here. You know damn well you can scratch your ass out of your Scratch if you feel like that so good, that shit make your eye close. You be like, nigga, why? And don't do one of these, nigga. Oh my God. You going to be looking like a chalkboard. <laughs> Let me tell you what else feels good in it. It'll catch your ass off guard. A Q-tip to the ear? Sure. A Q-tip? Yeah. A Q-tip had you in the bathroom like that. Yeah. Just I ain't got to feel like this. I don't even know which way to go. Q-tips, bro. I'm off of this. I appreciate these few little giggles. Oh, can I get the Hennessy? I got, hold up, I got my little, yeah, yeah, I got my little good top pick. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get no Hennessy on that right there? No. Oh, I can't get that? Uh, <laughs> damn, let me get a... Uh... <laughs> let me just get a Heineken then. Can I get a Heineken on that? Get your Hennessy. Huh? Get, get, get my Hennessy. Get my Hennessy. Get my Hennessy. Give me my goddamn good time. I need some milk. <laughs> I'm trying to take my goddamn good time pick. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, double, double it. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, suicide that bitch. Suicide is like a 39 on set. I got that. I got that suicide. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate these few little giggles. Boy, my son, he want me to come home with this little money so goddamn bad he can't wait. And he gonna be a car ride at school tomorrow. I'm gonna pick him up and pick him going straight to Walmart. That nigga don't know. Coming straight home with that little chain. I'm so glad me and my wife ain't got but two kids. We done. Done. Got my daughter, got my son. 
Told my wife she can go and get on the pill, get her tubes tied, ends burnt, twisted, whatever. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. I went to the doctor and said, Doc, give me a vasectomy, please. I said, matter of fact, take it to a whole nother level. Take my whole sack off. And all I want to see is dick, space, booty hole. Yo, my shit like a parking space down there. But we are done. I was gonna stop at my daughter, cause my daughter's my, my oldest. You know, my daughter, she 25 now. Yeah, I started early. You know, high school, you know, my mom and daddy gonna take care of her. By the time I get my shit together, she ain't gonna need much. You gotta make sacrifices early in life sometimes. My son, he eight, second grade. This is my last year having my son with this goddamn homework, too. And I damn near need to go back to school with my goddamn self. Some of this shit he be bringing home. And he always asks me to help him with his homework at the wrong goddamn time. School, I put the blood out. He be like, Daddy, you feel like helping me? I'm like, damn, now. I'm like, damn, you blowing my high. Your mama ain't home. I ain't got no choice but to help you. <laughs> One time he, he like, come on, Dad, help me with this math. I looked at that shit, I was like, nigga. <laughs> just, just color to your mama be I'm not understanding this right now. Appreciate it. Is it coming out my check? You good, you good. You good. I'm good? Is the good, this one? Shh, I'm keeping that good talking. <laughs> Uh, damn, y'all gave this big gut cup uh, straw in yeah, it. Uh, I was almost finished with that bitch with this one. Gave me a number two pencil. I appreciate these few little giggles. Yeah, my son, I named my son right after me. Like I'm like my son, he, he Jeremiah the third, I'm Junior. My daddy, you know, he was fossil. <laughs> like my son, me and my son, we do everything together. Like my son love to go to the bathroom when I go. We be having little piss races and shit. <laughs> One time he looked at my stuff, he was like, Daddy, woo, you got a big old PP daddy. He like, I want one of them. I like, be patient. <laughs> No shit coming. You just can't get no gorilla arm right now. You just can't get no avatar leg right now. You can't balance that, you'll fall over. That is my goddamn cat. I don't know what it is about every time you have a boy, a son be born. Everybody always think your son gonna be the next coldest athlete. My son was born, they like, oh shit, boy, you might have the next LeBron James. I was like, no, nah, he ain't showing that right now. <laughs> he driven all like this. I was like, yeah, damn. Man, he is not a lottery pick. <laughs> I was like, 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 don't even worry about the sign. There ain't gonna be no next LeBron James. I, I mean, I wish my son could have LeBron James skills. You know, I just don't want him to have his hair. <laughs> My brother need to go and stop playing though. No, cut that shit off, man. I did a show with Mammy one time and him and D-Wade came, came backstage and LeBron was like, oh, you funny as a motherfucker. I was like, yeah, you appreciate it. You funny too. Still trying to wear that goddamn headband like that. <laughs> he was like, man, stop playing. I was like, nah, I'm for real. <laughs> stop it, LeBron. Go on, let that go. I don't know about a headband supposed to be this goddamn wine. Uh, I told the brother, like, man, you're gonna be wearing the top of a turtleneck next year, nigga. <laughs> For a headband. <laughs> it feels good to finally be making a little change now, goddamn. I swear to you. I'm flying, I'm flying nice airlines now. But only when I'm doing big shows. Now, when I'm doing shit on my own, whew, 
I, I flew Spear and Airlines about a couple of weeks. Oh my lord. I think Spear and Airlines get their shit from Red Tails. I think they planes come from Red Tail there. Don't look about, don't look about supposed to fly like that. You don't want to be that scared on a goddamn plane. Ain't no individual seats, nigga. They just got a row looking like a church people. <laughs> Everybody got their same, no, use the same goddamn seat belt. One person reclined, everybody got to go back. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, I'm ready to sit up now. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> then the pilot, and he just pilot, and the stewardess. He on there talking about, I'll be back there in a minute. No, nigga, stay <laughs> in the cockpit. I appreciate the few little giggles. I'll give the brother. Like Rodney right said, you know, I've been in Atlanta since, I've been in Atlanta since 92, but I'm originally from Mississippi. Country boy. There you go. Country boy. I love where I'm from. I do, but I, I just had, I couldn't live there too much longer. Maybe you might ask about that in Mississippi. You know, my daddy, he had a little janitorial business. This dude thought they were going to be Williamson and Son. <laughs> right, you take that damn son shit out of me. And once you do the business through, I ain't finna be no goddamn janitor. That's what you chose to do in life. I don't want 113 keys on one key ring. I'll tear every loop on my pants right now. Take that dick, 
Mais on veut Mais on veut Oh my god, what the fuck is y'all doing You need to end up in the goddamn hospital. I'm like, was he freezing me hard? She gonna look up to my... I'm like, don't you ever say that to me. I am your father. <laughs> I don't do my daughter like that, man. I appreciate these few little giggles y'all give a brother and a man, goddamn it. Y'all a nice ass goddamn cry. For real, this don't work. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna support this and I ain't even performing. I'm like, y'all yeah, better go on up to that hard rock. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, that's where it's at. They're gonna park and cheat. Number five. Number five. If it wasn't $5, I would have parked in Turner Field and walked away. <laughs> I am all about saving change. That's why I'm, I'm glad who I met. I'm glad I married somebody that ain't really about that money shit. Okay. Ooh, thank you, Father. Because me and my wife, we've been married six years, and look, we've been dating since 88. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't in no rush. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I married my OG. Okay? My high school sweetheart. That's right. You know? Okay. Yes. You know, we used to shell lockers together. You know, wear shirts alike with the champagne glass with your name in the bitch. I ain't shame here. I wasn't there. I ain't no no better. Like me and my wife, our relationship's so laid back and comfortable, like I ain't have to propose to my wife. I ain't have to get on one knee and surprise her and gave the ring. I should just that comfortable. We were just at home looking at TV one day and I just leaned over. I'm like, you know what? We can get mad next Saturday. <laughs> I mean, if you ain't doing that. <laughs> look, she gave me a real cool laid back ass the back. She was taking the polish. I'm told that they didn't even look up. She's like, all right. I'm like, that's my boo right there. That's who I want to be with. That's my boo. The only issue I had with my wife, my wife can't cook. Yeah, my wife can't cook shit. I don't even let my wife go in the kitchen. I take the knobs out the stove so I can try to turn that bitch on. She that bad. And I should have known my wife could cook hell. When we was dating, she made me a bologna sandwich and didn't even take the red oh, rubber band. Yeah. Like, bitch, I'm supposed to eat this. You gonna give me H1N1, Mr. Rubber Band. Red rubber band. What the wrong with you? Now my wife's biggest issue with me, she don't want me to whoop my son ass yet. Tell me my son too young, my son eight. He know the fuck he doing. I'm gonna whip his ass just like my folks used to do, but not quite like that. <laughs> but in the area though. Cause I swear the rules of what they are now, back then, I swear both of my parents would be doing life. <laughs> My mom and dad used to tag team and whoop me like it's a wrestling match. <laughs> my dad would be whooping me, my mama outside the ring, tell my tag me, let me get in there. Let me get some. Hell, I'm mad too. I mean, one time my dad would beat me so damn bad, I grabbed the bell. I'm like, man, hold on. Let me ask you something. Now, I'm gonna let you finish, but let me ask you this. Why are you doing me like this? You must be mad about some other shit because this ain't about what I did. You must then get your check today or something. Damn, you beat my ass. And turn the belt the other way. Why you hit me all up here with the buck? And this ain't roots. I mean, one time my dad was whooping me, then he gonna holler out, Go to your room and go to bed. Then two minutes later, he want to come in there and try to explain the ass whooping. No, nah, man, I don't fuck with you right now. Get on out of here. You told me to go to bed. I'm sleeping. 
cut my light off. And my night light. Hell, I'm still full blown crying. I ain't did this yet. Mm, 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 mm. Nigga, my nose ain't snotty. They hear that shit from you right now. I appreciate these few little things. I'm just up here enjoying my life while I got it. I hope y'all doing the same. You better enjoy your life while you got it. They say you're supposed to enjoy the year 2000, but we all made it to the next millennium. You know, all our names going there in the history books. I hope you enjoyed right. that fucker. Show them ain't coming back around no damn moment. You can best believe your ass ain't gonna be here to see 3,000. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all ain't laughing. Think about it. I told one of my boys that he was like, Yeah, Jay, you ain't lying. If I see 3,000, I'll be like 100. I'm like, No, your ass ain't. <laughs> you a damn lie. You were having something wrong. <laughs> You better carry the one. Folks <laughs> <laughs> oh, be killing me, tell my man, I want to live forever. I'm going to live forever. You don't want to live for no damn ever. You know how long ever is? How the fuck you going to be looking at ever? <laughs> you don't want to look like that. You're going to be so old, you're, gonna be so old, you're just going to be in the living room just locked. <laughs> Old and a motherfucker just won't die. Every day somebody come home checking on you. Tell my yeah, he's still here. He ain't gone to glory yet. I want to see an old age. I really do. I want to see a nice old age. I really do. I just don't want to be old and a motherfucker. I want to be old. I want to be old and a motherfucker. When I get to the point where I can't do for myself, do for myself, I can always depend on somebody to come check on me, feed me, you know, change my clothes, take me places. When I get to that point, go on, put that pillow in my face so I can ride on out. This time for me to go. Don't worry, there ain't gonna be no big ass struggle. I ain't gonna be in that fight. I'm gonna shit like that thing. I'm gonna take one deep breath and I'm gone. 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 I tell you. That's why I'm, I'm so glad. We might well, we got to enjoy these last four years of Barack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go throw that out there. Better enjoy it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute before we get somebody else in there. I mean, hell. Hey, we ain't really got nobody in line if you think about it, nigga. No, because we, we, we ain't fucking with Jesse too much. Jesse Jones. And Jesse, I mean, just a little ass shot. And, uh, if he ain't had that perm, we'd probably take him seat. That perm throwing me off with it. But I can't have no perm be president. I mean, think about it. Why don't we have an emergency real quick? You got to talk to the world. <laughs> and your hair ain't done. You can't show up at the over office this side, pat it all in, and you raise your hand down. Think it's going to be an easy day? Now you hit the phone, you taking your goddamn rolls out and shit. Talking to the world. Nobody could have had that. My favorite part, I love me some rock. And y'all remember when he got sworn in? Okay. He hugged Beyonce, then he looked down real quick like <laughs> Then he looked at Joe to make sure he saw Joe like this. <laughs> Love our black friend. He don't even go down the stairs and he be all to the side. <laughs> he have to be prime time. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be going to the game. Man, I ain't going, I ain't coming to me, man. Joe's trying to play a series, you know, over here. Watch this goddamn game. <laughs> Love our president. Got us health insurance finally. I don't even mind calling 911 now. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, I got you. At first, before the health insurance came around, I wasn't calling the ambulance for nothing. They called, said, you know how expensive it is to get in the ambulance? I'll be like, oh, I wish I would get shot somebody called Amelan. Like, Don't you call that damn Amelan? I'm like, how you gonna get there? I'm like, no, no, he 
can't take me there. Take me home. <laughs> Put me in the car like no boy did Ricky. <laughs> When Ricky Mama came out there, what y'all out here doing? <laughs> Ricky? <laughs> I appreciate these few little gifts. I'll give it a go. You say you gonna bring the improv group up? No. Are you thinking about it? Yeah, I would love to see some of y'all work, man. I've been, I've been checking my man Twitter page out there, and I would love. Where your group at? They right up in here somewhere? Everybody in the cut? Okay, that's what she's like. Yeah, I'm one of them. I got my, I got my good top pick too. But yeah, look here, man. Y'all keep supporting my man, Rodney Perry, and this yeah. right here, man. This is, this is going to be the new shit right here. Real talk, real talk, man. And thank you very much, Bobby, for bringing me, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yo, one more time with JJ, y'all in here.